so, so, I appreciate, by the way, I appreciate your willingness to return all the way back here to deliver information. That being our, <laughs> one of our primary imports and exports. And I also appreciate that you were not willing to carry another piece of the pearl into the Underdark where crazy stuff is going on. That's well how done. the Guildmaster talks. Well done. He's very familiar with us. He can do whatever he wants. Oh, yeah. Well <laughs> done on that. <laughs> We've killed things. Lots of things. And he's heard about it. Do you, uh, your training is going splendidly well. You, there are technically a couple of months remaining of it. Mm -hmm. Do you wish to, s to continue in the training? And maybe you all can stay here for the remainder of that. Not and train with him, of course, but, you know, be, stick around until the next, until he's free to go. Or do you wish to leave now and continue the training at some other time? What would you like to do? Grant? Yes? What would you like to do? <coughs> um. So you have two options. Uh, so Soren's training's not done yet. Yeah. He has a couple months left. You can stick around in Sartek City doing various things therein uh, while this training is, is finishing up. Ultimately, of course, the decision is Soren's, but he's asking for your input. Correct, which so is why... he can uh, go now and finish the training later, or you all can kind of hang out in Sartak City, do some odd jobs for the guild here and there. Uh, which the fact, and... <coughs> Rain sees the fact that Soren is extremely calm around him, hasn't said anything offensive, and is scared shitless about that. Because you know Rand and Soren don't get along. In general, that's correct. In general, yeah. But you don't know what kind of stuff he's... Well, he's no, I have no gone. clue, but I'm like... Seen shit, man. Um... Well, I'd like to get back on the road as soon as we can, but... I'll just be... If you want to stay here, I'll just be... There. And he just backs away a little bit more. And just... <clears throat> just on guard against him. He doesn't ha give an opinion. Bart? Yeah, I mean, I... What do you think? Bart comes up, sniffs around you. Hey. You. Y'all are different. You still some different. Pet me. Pet me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> kind of pet no, that's fair. I mean, Bark would probably say thing. that. Yeah. yeah. That'd be a dog thing. Kind of pet. He's still like, but he <clears throat> pets him, so Bark's like, okay. I like this guy. Still. <laughs> I'm okay with whatever you decide to do. I can keep my. I can keep myself busy. I have things I can study. It matters not to me either. We have we have solved the majority of what was making you a little on the insane side. A lot on the insane side. Um, and you are fit now for travel. It's just if if you wish to complete the training, great. If you want to come back later and do it. That's fine, too. Out of character, if I choose to complete the training, we're going to do anything with Dwayne, or we're just going to say that three months passes before we make our next trip. That's up to you guys. If you want to do some, like, like side stuff. Happen. I mean, I, I said there should be at least, like, maybe one small thing in between. I mean, I was going to continue my tinkering studies. Okay. So, however, however much that progresses me for three months. Three months? Okay. How maybe you can send Rand out on a... Solo the only, quest. The only purpose behind this character was to get us through that training and yeah. get that piece of the pearl. Working I don't for the anymore. working for the uh, thieves guild. Yeah, me and Bart. Uh, random Bark solo quest. <laughs> random Bark solo. Now that 
is a story I would never write. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's one point during the three month time span where Kyron's looking out the window and see Brandon Bark running down the street, going, da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> Carrying a giant bomb over the head like the Adam West Batman. <laughs> That is such a horror. That's so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? So just weird. hearing him going, da 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 da. Kyra thinks to himself, the guards walk by. He's like, na 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 na. Kyra just is there. I miss Bahada. Sorry. Then if we're not actually going to do anything with the story elements behind what's happening, I'm probably just the trepidation of the training. Okay. Because there's no. Yeah. I don't think there was anything going to happen if we took the boat either outside of maybe like a couple like mini battles, but right? Uh, uh well, yeah. Like there, there was no significant story plot. The next no. part of the story is in the. the That's episode. true. Yeah. Although at this point, we can uh, adjust it a little bit so you have a little, like a little bit more training and, and the tinkering stuff. Uh, Rand and Bark have some, uh, like. Inner city detective adventures <laughs> where they're all solving crime. Which is just wonderful. Hello, Rand! Hello, Rand. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we should do like a one shot solo run where you like go around solving crimes with Mark. He just randomly, the one hot and Russian and woman and was the crimes that he committed. That, that would be <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. Your fingerprints are everywhere. Well, that's because I was just investigating it, Comma Chief. Commander Chief. <laughs> Commander Chief. That's Commander his name. Commander Mark. Commander Mark. <laughs> yeah. Um, you figure out, like, you, you are becoming very skilled in the uh, Tinkerer's tools. Yeah. Is there anything, like, over now and the next time we play, you know... Four weeks from now. <laughs> We've been playing two weeks. Um, think about what what kinds of, of things you're wanting to do with the tinkering. As far as like, have you have you already thought about that? A some? little bit actually, and it's not uh, it's not a traditional tinkering sense. It's if I can learn to build it, I can learn to break it apart. I can. I'm, I want to dismantle things. I want to be able to dismantle mechanical traps and eventually magical traps. Ah, to assist in the trap side. Mm -hmm. That's why. I'm, that's why I didn't decide to go into the magical tinkering class that I showed you. Okay. I wanted to keep this in the rogue style. So, I like it. I like it a lot. So, so can, you're becoming much more proficient at dealing with traps, mm -hmm. mechanical, and then eventually magical. You saw the, the gloves so of thieving, right? I do. I don't know that that traps. affects. That technically doesn't affect traps. As what, far as what does it, huh? the uh, gloves? Oh, the gloves. No, it's just pickpocketing. Uh, that's for, for pickpocketing and, and pick opening locks. locks? Yeah. 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 So dismantling traps. That's really. It's still sleight of hand, but it doesn't affect. Yeah. Sleight. Are you? Um, oh my God, that's ridiculous. You're you're already double proficient in sleight of hand. I mean, I haven't eaten sleight of hand. No, I'm. Um, I mean, like as a part of the like rogue. Yeah, I'm, I'm proficient in sleight of hand. Right. So you. So. You're proficient in it, and then as a rogue, you get expertise. Did you expertise sleight of hand? No, I did not know that. But you haven't used your expertise. You okay, I didn't know it was a thing. Two. By our point so in time, we get you get four. double okay. our proficiency bonus. Oh shit, we Hang get on. double. So okay, special. Uh, Explain to expertise to me, please. Okay. I, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Hang on. Let me. That's like one of the rogue's best skills. It gives you double your proficiency bonus on two skills, yeah, but at right? the at the point we hit like level eight or nine, Ooh, it gave challenge. us two extra skills. So we double our expertise bonus on four skills. Where's and the... since I now have five, I didn't adjust for that. Yeah, okay. Because of my uh, blah, blah, blah. expertise at first level, choose two of your skill proficiencies or one of your skill proficiencies and your proficiency with thieves tools. Uh, your proficiency bonus is doubled for any ability check that you make using either of the chosen proficiencies. At sixth level, you can choose two more. So you have four total skills or tool sets that you're doubly proficient in. 
I would say one of those will be Tinkerer's Tools. Mm -hmm. um, Double proficient in Tinkerer's Tools. I forgot about the proficiency set. It means I have plus 15 in stealth. I'm never missing a sneak attack again, hopefully. I mean, that would put me up to... If I put... Although, <coughs> obviously put one in the Tinkerer's Tool, because that would really help. It will, yes. Um, <coughs> so I can... Oh. Double up on sleight of hand, so I can go from an eight to a, because I have a plus four proficiency, so I go from an eight to a twelve in that. Yes. Okay. I'll probably do the same thing with stealth. That's. I mean, I'm fair. Rogue, so stealth is important. Maybe mm -hmm. you working on anything weird with your character right and now? Nothing in particular. You I mean, you want to be Batman essentially, right? With all that shit on your belt. I was about to say, I want. So an arcane trickster who wants to be like Batman and have a lot of gadgets. Not so much arcane gadgets as like... trickster who wants to really take sh gadgets apart. It wasn't so much gadgets as I wanted a lot of like... We have a death Poisons knight. and shit that we I always have, have options We have a death knight Three who months. literally is better. nuts. Like, also, man, was a pet. Yeah. Yeah. A but hunter who went shadow hunter that went assassin. That's the Batman. And we have Leas. Leas has always just been... Well, Eli's always, always just been the straight guy. He's a wizard. Yeah. <laughs> he's I'll a put it in, I think I'll put the last one uh, in Persuasion. He's a sorcerer, well, technically, but, but yeah, he's, he's a caster. Oh, he's a next level 13th, we get our next proficiency bonus level. <laughs> I'm going to put it into Persuasion. Give me an 11 Persuasion. Nice. That'll be handy. Mm -hmm. You've been learning from Bahirat. Four acrobatics, six of flicks, seven and, well, deception. He's most of them are talking. 13 and basically I've been talking a lot. I'm actually making deals. 10 perception, yeah. 15 slot of hand. Expanding your role playing skills. Try. It's I good. Level him it's, up it's, to it's, it's a good, it's a good thing. Yeah. All right. Now, three months is a little while. So you have some time if you want to, like, talk to me about uh, specific types of crossbow bolts, like Catterley's, for example. Catterley's? Have you read the Cleric Quintet? The what? The Cleric Quintet. I'm guessing no. No. So, uh, he designs a crossbow bolt that will uh, kind of smash in upon itself, and he fills it with alchemist fire for explosive crossbow bolts. That sounds amazing. What do I actually have in my... Let's see here. I've got... Still got two potions. Thank you. Dust of Dreams. Can you either take two points or dryness. Dust what, of dryness. What level rogue? Not rogue. I'm overall level twelve. Oh. And one so to ten. Uh, you would get survival um, technos. Believe that the proficiency bonus goes my up. Box. No, not yet. Still plus four. Spores, ball bearing. Uh, you would get ten an ability score there. improvement. Yeah. So it's either two ability scores or one feat. Yes. Yeah, it's either plus two to one thing, plus one to two things, or a feat. Yeah. <laughs> Don't understand, Dave. So I have 20 what ice did bolts. You just say? How much time do we have left? Uh, over 10 minutes. Okay. T 20. Shit, mm -hmm. that's. Uh, now I remember why this'll I lost be, all my gold. This will be a good I have kind 20, of like, downtime area. Wait, what? I have 20. 99% Technos bolts. I bought them, yeah. That's how I spent all my gold before we got into this oh, yeah. last dungeon. I just dipped my Before we went over the... And hope for the best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also have one 93% Technos bolt and a vial of Technos. Yep, yep. I've got to take care of that. Three months will, will be plenty of time to craft... Uh, any number of items. If you're wanting to spend some money to have some things crafted, uh, you can do that. For example, if you're wanting explosive crossbow bolts, or just really crossbow bolts in general that can do a variety of things. Really? Uh, I don't need... You'll have to see... Because I don't even know what the custom frick folks. going against. Yeah. It is possible to have a spell... Depending upon the spell, of course. It's possible to have a spell infused into a crossbow bolt. Uh, 
However, depending upon the spell, that will be very expensive. Especially if I wanted it at a higher level than I can cast it myself. Because most of the spells I would For want, example, in theory, you could literally make an exploding crossbow bolt. Crossbow bolt with a fireball spell on it. That triggers when it hits a target. The great thing about that is you don't even have to really hit the target. You just gotta hit near the target and the fireball goes off. What about a cantrip? Would that be more expensive? Cantrips would uh, cheap, it? would be less expensive, yeah. Are you are you looking for something in particular? Or just curious? Um, oh that makes you more neat. Poison mist. Yeah. Oh. Like gas okay. the strongest out of all of the cantrips. Because it's a D twelve. Mm-hmm. I don't even know if this And it's an area of attack. <laughs> so if you hit one guy in a group, it would drop a large group of people. Mm -hmm. Arrow shot that can cast shatter. <laughs> darkness. No, shatter. Oh, shatter. Yeah. Because darkness, you can cast. In theory, you could. Because casting shatter. An arrow can be shot 120 feet. No more. It right. can be shot 120 feet accurately. Accurately. You can launch one as far as you can yeah. shoot a bow, essentially, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, theoretically. So yeah, I can just launch a random arrow out there into the middle of a battlefield, cast shatter with it. And they wouldn't know what hit them. Fucking nuts. <laughs> Guys, there's an arrow. Die. <laughs> Fuck him up. It'd be nuts. It'd be <laughs> expensive. Though. I know it would be. I'm not doing that. A level nine shatter. Poison spray. Oh, yeah. This is a D12. All of the yeah, it's the strongest cantrip. But it's really close range. Oh, unless you put it above. Well. It's a... Yeah. Uh, it's essentially... Let's see. Oh, there so you go. your hand toward a creature you can see within range and project a puff of noxious gas from your. So it's like a, it's like a five foot. Yeah. So square kind of a thing. So if you had a group of enemies that were too close <laughs> and shot the one in the middle with it, all of them, right? Not exactly. Um, the range of it is ten feet, but, but that's not the radius. Oh, okay. Uh, is the radius only five? It's. It's a it's a target creature. It's not a, a oh, group of creatures. So dancing yeah. blade still, isn't still, a five E thing. D twelve on top of acid a, is the acid. Assuming it fails the uh, the acid cantrip isn't the right. Acid spray? Yeah, well not acid spray. Acid splash. Acid splash. Yeah. Uh, it's a D ten. Let me look. I believe it is. Yeah. Or it might even be a D eight. I think I think it's a ten. Because I think the D8s is like that cool. Acid right? Splash is a D6, is actually. Is it a 6? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it has a bigger range. Shatter? What level of spell is Shatter? Third level. Yeah, it's three. So here's what I'm thinking about that. Oh, I don't actually want to do it. No, but just like for your... For, for, for informational purposes. Okay. It's going to cost... Hmm, it's gonna have to scale up though. Because honestly, I can come up with worse spells that attach to an arrow. Right. So. What? Exactly. I was thinking the same thing. Within, like, depending upon the spell, of course. Uh, like, the first level, a first level arrow, we'll say, is. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Because if I do. Hang on. I gotta run some numbers here. <laughs> I didn't want to do. No, I mean, it's fine. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll think about that later. Okay. And come up with some interesting options. Uh, if that is desired. Future. Is there any kind of spell that would be like I know this would be expensive, but like a seeking spell like True Strike? Fuck yeah, something seeking. that if I like would trying to Fuck yeah, seeking spell. shoot an arrow and then have it curve around the corner. Magic missile. Uh let's see, let's see. 
<laughs> true strike. True, true, <coughs> true seeing. No, true strike. It's a cantrip, actually. Um, it would give you advantage on the attack roll. Okay. Yeah. That would be feasible. I'll have to come up with pricing, of course. Right. No, I'm just but, asking. Uh, that's yeah. what I'd be interested in. Right. So, like, something I, I could, if I knew someone was there, yeah. so I could just curve it. A true strike bolt. Yeah, we'll say. Uh, would grant you advantage on your next attack roll. Okay. So if you hit, you have the next time you shot. So if you you were using your repeater, your first shot, then you get advantage on the second one. So if you were sneak attacking, he would get advantage on his first shot because of sneak attack. And then Assuming that he like goes like well, like surprise stealth, round yeah. and that kind of thing, yeah. And then he would get advantage on the next round as well. Yeah. Which would be awesome. That would be. Mm -hmm. I can deal with that. Really cool the way. city white noise works very well for Sartek City as well, so I was going to leave it um, yeah. well, Since we're asking questions about magic, I, I have a question about... So I would like to story. find out about and his training. 10 or so. Sure. Can two I shot forego rounds. one of my level 1 spells to get a cantrip? Ooh. That. Because mm, rangers don't get cantrips. They do not. What cantrip? Prestidigitation. Yes. Really? That's the one? Yep. I mean, it's a really useful one, but at certain yes. for certain things. does not do damage. No. So but it does make Grand <clears throat> soil his pants. That's actually not why I'm making it. I know. It's so. funny, but no. <laughs> I can stuff out candles with it. And light sources. Yeah. That's true. It's useful. I'm the chef. Yeah, that would be very handy. Now I do remember yeah, back in my for me to train with that. Yes, way back I when we were fighting uh, giant wasps. Way back when we were just sticking torches in the ground and firing arrows through. Hey, that was a really clever idea. I had. It was. And it really I was. I rolled a twenty to plant those those, those torches. <laughs> yeah, you did. I remember that one. That was a crowning moment. And then I lassoed a box. Yeah. I will you get, did. That's, insane. that's how we yeah. got the box. I, I will get information I do on enchanting that arrows yeah. and things. Okay. Uh -huh. And I'll put it on the our uh, the website. The doing on, our, on our page. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I said, I mean, I understand by no, no, like true shots, is, but I was looking more for homing. But if true shots what I can get, I'd actually... Now that we brought it up, I like that. Because I wanted the box. Yeah, there's nothing in the book that's going to make it home. So I understand. But once you brought it up, I actually really do like that true shot arrow idea. Because then I can make sure I at least hit my second attack, too. Yeah. Get a true polymorph arrow. <laughs> Locked it in the air. A slug! Dude, that would be like so Your expensive. <laughs> Holy no, shit. Right. That's a ninth level spell. There, yeah. A wish arrow. That's what I was thinking too. Ah, uh, you wouldn't be able to do wish into an arrow. No, you wouldn't. Oh. Rude. Okay. Um, at this point, I think that we're pretty much done for this session. More or less. Um, I think at this point we're just killing time. We are. We had a, we had some good some some good talks. I will have oh, I more info for you guys and for just groups in general uh, about the magical arrow types. Obviously, the spell type will have to be okayed because there are some things that just won't work as arrow spells. Like, for example, healing would be stupid in an arrow. I'm going to uh, shoot you healed. Sniper rifle. Sniper rifle. Sniper rifle. Yeah. He got up before me and I got up at 8. Uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this has been an excellent it's chaos session. It has been. I actually Stop. really like the ones that don't have a lot of combat. But combat's fun, too. So, I like them both. So this yeah. was, I, 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 did too. I really had fun I with like this. I feel session we needed, just to yeah. kind of talk and have fun. fun. Mm -hmm. Gives me a chance to fuck the day. Soren's back. Yay. Awesome. Yes. Oh, yay. That's in character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay but for Rand. Soren's, de Soren's, Soren's demeanor back. will be different. It, 
it 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 will have changed dramatically from what it was, uh, at now, least in certain aspects, uh, which he's you're still trying to you know, work out. I, I would Fine imagine. reason. I, I thought we'll talk about that now. Okay. Anyway. Uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. If not D and D, then we'll be playing some kind of board game or whatever. Not D and D, we'll just be playing with ourselves. Later. Later. <laughs>